Okay, so here we are. This is the mystery box. <laughs> I get people contacting me from different companies saying, hey, can you do a product review for us? And we'll send you some product to try. I said, sure, send me your product, I'll try it, and I'll tell the whole world if it sucks. So here we go. Let's see if this stuff's any good. Well, here I am, firing cement all over my face, that's awesome. Okay, we have business card. It's a clip system. Oh, they have wedges and everything. Nice. All right, we better read the instructions. I've never used this system before in case this clip's any different than any other one. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Three different grout sizes. That's nice. Down to 132nd. Then we have a wedge, of course. <laughs> they have this new idea. I haven't seen that before. It's called a wedge base. Apparently they can extend their functionality on really, really skinny tiles. Okay, I don't like to work with skinny chat crap tiles, so that's not an issue. And these are wedges. These are great for starting off your tile around a tub. I'll keep those, they look pretty. Seriously, that's it. All right, the box could have been a little bigger, guys, but that's all right. All right, let's take a look at these. What did they send me? And the bag doesn't tell me how thick they are. Three millimeter. Okay. Three millimeter. And that would represent, because I'm not a millimeter guy, that's one eighth. Good, because that's what I wanted to use. Okay, so, so far, they're a clip. Basically, it's the same science as all the clip systems. They break off, you put them underneath the tile. So we'll start with that. And you just place them underneath. The idea here is you just get rid of the extra cement that's in the area, because you don't want to have cement popping up between the joints. Now, some people use a margin trowel. I'm a little old school. I just like to have one tool in front of me all the time, so I use that trowel. And you want to get it level in all the different directions. Okay. Pull it up from the bottom. There we go. Now, let's open up this box. Oh, this is nice. Ah, demonstration of how to install and remove. If you don't know how to use this system, you can put pause on your screen and read these instructions. Or you can just watch. <laughs> oh, so the starter kit comes with another bag of clips. That's good. Now I know I'll have enough. Every time you use one of these, it's garbage. You can't reuse it again. The wedges, however, you can reuse over and over and over again. So they will go in the pail. like a lot of systems out there, it's just basically a really long triangle with little steps on it. And we'll put another tile down and show you how this goes together. Okay. I'm gonna lay that in position. Finish our demonstration how the system works. Uh, actually, I'll go this way and this way. We'll go both directions just for the purpose of the camera. Now I usually try to put those wedges in with fingers first, but here's the basic idea. The clip goes over top. Here we go, sorry, I'm on backwards. And you just squeeze the wedge through the clip, causing compression, and it should create a nice flush surface. Here we go, Canadian toonie. Okay, let's try that again. It's kind of an unfair way to test it, to be honest with you. I don't even know if that ever works. It's just like a, you see it on TV where they slide the quarters across. Feels pretty damn flush to me. Maybe it's not. I don't know where the breaking point in this plastic is, so I'm gonna Shorten this up a little bit. OK. 
Okay, that did close it some more. Ooh, it's better. We're just closing the gap here so we can get more compression out of the wedge. Now, I will say this, this wedge is really under a lot of pressure right now and it's not breaking up. So that is a definite improvement from a lot of systems out there. A lot of cases when I put pressure on the wedges, they just shatter and snap right off. I'm not sure. All right. So here's the, here's the deal. In the tile industry, we have this thing called lippage. And that's when one surface is higher than the other. And the idea of these clips is to close all the gaps so that everything is nice and flush. The trick is, is that requires one of two things. Uh, a, a relatively flat surface, which we don't have because we're on concrete. So no matter what I do down here, without spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on floor leveler, I'll never make this perfect. But we also have an industry standard of a sixteenth of an inch. If there's less than sixteenth of an inch and in the difference in the height, then it's apparently passable by a Terry on warranty. Now that can still be pretty dramatic. Now the difference here is going to be in nanometers. Uh, it's probably unfair to be sliding my, my coin across the tile. But to be honest with you, I am really pleased with how tight I can compress that clip. I'm a little bit nervous actually to know if I can break it off. If you have the resistance, just use the edge of your trowel to force the base in. That's where the breaking point is on the clip. So it's best to put your pressure there so you don't break it while you're setting it in. Collapse your ridges, put in all your clips, all your wedges. I know if you've never used a system like this before, that does seem a little tedious, but trust me, this is a lot quicker than running around trying to pound everything down with a rubber mallet or lifting the tile back out and getting covered in cement. And then building up a corner, trying to level it off. <clears throat> All you gotta do is just make sure your corners are lined up. All right. So the folks at Paygrand sent us a stutter kit plus some additional uh, wedges and spacers, uh, which is good. We pretty much exhausted the starter kit so you get an idea of the size that you can do. That's about 10 by eight. Um, so if you wanna order some of this up and try it out, I think I'm gonna give it a thumbs up because I'm, I'm pleased with the system. I like its flexibility. And I checked online, I took a look at some of the other products that they carry. And they've got some really cool products for you know, integrating into other aspects of wall or stone or even some of that ledge stone kind of application. So a uh, versatile product. Versatile company, I uh, don't have a distributor in my area, so it looks like I'm gonna be signing up to become a distributor myself. To the folks at PayGrant, thanks for the free stuff. I like it, I'm gonna keep using it. If you're enjoying these videos, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, but most importantly, comment on the videos. By all means, or a suggestion of video you'd like to see, let us know, we'd love to be in touch.